Welcome to this tutorial on how to use transition effects in Video Studio. If you have the time, you'll want to put your video out into the world with silky smooth editing that makes it comfortable to watch. For everyone from Scorsese to a soccer mom, transitions are the key. Transition effects can be used to polish up a project or simply add a little bit of fun to a slideshow. And the good news is, adding transitions is easy. All you need are two videos or images in the video track to make a transition work. Now it's time to pick up the right transition for you. On the left panel of the clip bin, select the Transitions button to view all of the transition effects installed in Video Studio. You can preview each effect by clicking on one of these animated thumbnails which will play a sample in the preview window. Once you've chosen the transition effect that you want, drag it into the timeline and place it in between your two desired clips. One fun feature to point out is that if you drag one clip over another, it will automatically add a random transition effect. But this generally isn't the method that you would use for a larger project. The default duration for transition effects in Video Studio runs for one second. However, the length can be altered in the Options section after the transition has been applied. You can also change the default by going to the Settings menu and selecting Preferences, Edit, and then changing the number in the Transition Effect section. In this example, I'm going to change it to 3 seconds. Now, whenever I apply a transition, it will keep that setting. So there you have it. You just added a transition. Take a look at the preview screen. Whenever you create a slideshow or a family video project for the kids, adding in all sorts of eye-catching transitions can be a lot of fun. However, for a more polished or professional look, usually stick with the crossfade or fade to black, and avoid using too many transitions altogether. Clean and simple, these two effects look stunning without being very obvious that a transition effect was used at all. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on transition effects in Corel Video Studio.